All right, this is going to be a short video, but I think it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, this actually came about uh, because the um, the tech prepper, you'll find them on YouTube and Twitter, uh, had did a video about um, automatically recording uh, voice transmissions. And I had just made a comment on Twitter uh, that, hey, you know, maybe this would be possible with um, SDR for Space. And so the developer of SDR for Space made a couple of uh, tweaks and uh, I was just playing with it a little while ago I think this is pretty neat uh, I'm sure it can be better uh, adjusted than what I'm about to show but this was just a quick setup so I have a rock pi X that looks just like a raspberry pi about the same size uh, I've been building a little box uh, with a screen a monitor and everything else it's running on battery power and it's sitting um, basically out well yeah um, outside and uh, it has an RTL SDR plugged into it and uh, it's connected to the network and this is me just looking at the uh, desktop with VNC viewer and then I'm uh, this is my laptop here uh, in the background locally so what we'll do is uh, I did some videos on SDR for space but in the latest Dragon OS Focal, it's sitting in users, user source SDR for space. And if you want to use this, you got to run source settings, which apply some things to the terminal window that you have open. And we are going to run a script that I have placed in here and will be, of course, in uh, uh, Dragon OS. Uh, the next release and any uh, you know update that I can get around to doing here but if you look at this DDC FM DMOD no silence you'll see uh, there's a trigger value uh, offset uh, center I just was messing around with that a little bit uh, a directory is that it's going to write the files and so what it'll do is when it detects uh, that trigger value it'll start recording and um, we'll place a uh, date and time on the file and when it, the silence is detected, it'll stop and then, of course, write a new file and so on and so forth. I have it configured for the RTL SDR like you can see there. And if we come down here a little bit, we can see our sample rate is set. And what's pretty unique or pretty cool about this um, SDR for space, this uh, JavaScript virtual machine, it does a lot of work here to uh, get that file size down really small it's also going to demod it's got that narrowband FM demodulation and this is actually my first time running it so I'll just kind of peruse through here and uh, get kind of familiar with JavaScript you could write your own you can tweak this further than what it is right uh, now so I'm going to exit out of here we'll come back up to our top level directory so you could just as easily do this uh, through SSH, which is how I'm going to pull back the file from this remote system so I don't have to run down there and uh, get the file off so that we can hear the audio. So let's see, how can we run this script? We're going to do a um, .4 slash SDRVM. We'll do a dash D for the directory. We'll do Dragon OS, RX, and I'll cheat a little bit here. I want that that five, number five. We'll space it out and do a uh, dash F for the file. So this will run uh, indefinitely until we until we cancel it, and it's sitting here waiting uh, for me to transmit and uh, say something. So let's test it out here. All right, testing at one two three. Testing one two three. There's a transmission. All right. So there we go, it ends the record. Now, if I did that again, it would start a new file and set and um, you know write to file. So we've got that file. Let's take a look. I'm just gonna kill it for a second. I'll look in the temp directory. Oh, I can see I've got the uh, file there that we just generated. I'll copy that, I'll come over to my desktop again because I don't want to run downstairs and get this file. So I am going to use SCP to reach out to that 
remote system. I know the file is sitting in temp and I know what the name of the file is because I just looked at it over here. I'm going to pull it back local to my laptop in the home dragon music directory. Okay, so we have that file back here locally. We can see the file size. And if we take a look in the music directory, we uh, the laptop sitting right here next to me. We should hopefully be able to hear some audio. And one more time. Okay. So hopefully you heard that. Uh, that is the audio that was just recorded uh, remotely by that RTL SDR and SDR for space. Uh, so again, play around with the offsets and you probably will get it uh, set up better than, than I did there. All right. Thanks.